Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Resolume 7.4.1 release video. In this video, we'll go through the new features found in this update. Note that this update is solely focused on wire, but expect some cool arena and avenue updates soon. During our release stream two weeks ago, we got the request to add the ability to read and count the amount of lines and words in a string. So we went ahead and implemented that. The first thing to note here is that all nodes that deal with strings now support multi-lines. So now you can put huge amounts of your favorite poetry right into a wire. Next up are the count line and count words nodes. These nodes take a string and output how many words or lines are in the string. To complement these, we have the read line and read word nodes. These will take a string and output a single line or a single word from that string set by the index. My patch here demonstrates the use of these nodes. We take this multi-line string. The white text is the string rendered as a whole. The red text is the string rendered line by line. And the blue text is the string rendered word by word. I'm using the amount of lines and words as amplitudes for the saw oscillators. These will now run from zero to the amount of lines or words. This is perfect for our read nodes as now they can easily cycle through their indices. Besides new nodes, we've added four new examples for you to learn from. The screen shake effect will booty shake your content to the next level. The loop source will demonstrate how to make a scalable animation. The moving bar source explains how to make complex sources and integrate them with Arena and Avenue. The Gamma Correction Patch clarifies how Gamma Correction works and how you can apply it to your patching. And there is even more, some shape nodes here. The Distance Line node will take any shape and create distance lines from it. Great stuff for some tunnel making. The Move node is up next. This node simply moves your shape around like a Transform node does, but it's much lighter on your GPU. So whenever you need to move something around, Move is the way. We've also added shape to d support for the negate node. This simply creates a negative of the shape you're currently working with. This is great if you want to create some cool masks. And lastly, the big one, the polygon node. This node takes a float to collection and turns it into a polygon shape. Anything from this octagon to this mess is possible. And as you can see, the normal shape operations like edge, union and subtract are also possible allowing me to combine this mess with my nice octagon. The circle pattern node can be used to create any n-gon you want. You can use the angle parameter to get even more funkier. Talking about upping the funkiness, here I have combined all the new shape nodes into one patch. I've used the circle pattern node to create a hexagon and I'm modulating it with some sine oscillators. This collection is used to create a polygon, which I subtly move around with a new move node. Next, I create distance lines from the polygon while modulating the distance with yet another sine oscillator. I negate this shape and I use the switch to switch between the negated and the original shape. This gets rendered and thrown into a feedback loop and we end up with this funky piece of generative content. And that was it for this update. We hope you are having fun with Wire. If you have any questions, feature requests or just want to share your work with us, make sure to head over to our forum or join our Slack channel. Links to these can be found in the description below.